welcome back to edu skills oer made easy our mission is to make you fall in love with oer and today we have writing segment a letter to an emergency department this is from oet official samples thank you oet for allowing me to use this for a teaching purpose and if you are watching this on youtube kindly consider subscribing the channel give us a thumbs up if you like our and please do share to your contacts so that we reach out to maximum oet aspirants especially those who are financially struggling to crack oet ultimately we have to fall in love with the whole process that's the best way to regain competency so what we are teaching here at edu skills it's not just to get a b grade or a grade in your oet we are preparing you for your workplace we, we are preparing for your future profession and we are preparing for your life so english is for life we, you know as soon as you get a case note if there are beginners uh, two or three sentences for you what you have to do very beginning you have to read notes the notes segment there first few lines one a date will be given there today's date then who are you you are a nurse conducting a nurse home visit this is what you require in the beginning immediately after that you should go to the writing task now they say using the information in the case note write a letter of referral okay. so okay. you are supposed to write a referral letter to the emergency okay. department then you have the address and details outlining what are you supposed to do outline the case and requesting urgent assessment and management for pericarditis now next step what you have to do in your practice is to adopt the first method here if you don't know what is pericarditis go and google and find out for example i have done it here see pericarditis what it is okay what are the symptoms i just took it from google maybe as health professionals you might know it by yourself at least bring to your mind what is pericarditis and how the patient looks what are the problems they have you can visualize that is the best method try to visualize a patient with this issue and what is your next business next step is you have to identify the key issue now uh, here uh, key issue is already mentioned what is the key issue the pericarditis yeah. pericarditis. Yeah. pericarditis is the key issue now could you just identify these words we will go from here can you identify some words here in this case no relapse and complications of pericarditis uh, relapse complications of pericarditis so you have the word here then somewhere Suspe evaluation there is a viral influenza type b plus pericarditis okay again there is one pericarditis this here good then echocardiogram pericarditis and okay cardiogram indicated pericarditis you can even look into your hard copy if you have try to circle or underline or highlight these words okay at least four you have here see even when there is multiple issue to identify for example uh, sometimes they give a diagnosis here in the beginning okay they might give you a diagnosis somewhere here don't be misled by the diagnosis you are supposed to deal with the key issue on which you are supposed to ask a follow up care with a particular person so if you have a confusion just look into the repeated repeated mm -hmm. issue which is repeated now here you have this same word repeated four times right so that is the yes. issue and it's already mentioned there is no confusion as regards the issue here in the case note now we will just look into the aspects which are relevant maybe whatever is connected with pericarditis we'll take the last page final page can you just tell me what is connected with now you know this these details are connected with pericarditis because you have already highlighted it right relapse complications what else is connected with pericarditis you know what are the symptoms as already i said chest pain fatigue of general feeling of weakness or being sick leg swelling low grade fever pounding of raising heartbeat all bit palpitations shortness of breath when lying down and also connected medications if you can identify just tell me what is important under observations do you have anything important feeling just right and sound feeling, feeling. feeling. yeah reports feeling yeah just report. right yeah. yeah yeah yes so one by one yeah shortness of breath mm -hmm. all these are the okay these are the symptoms mm -hmm. or complaints yeah. complaints yeah. of the patient which is important vital signs like the fever vital signs of okay. fever yes these things are these things yeah. are required pi evaluation you know viral influenza type b yes. plus doses that is required then here yes. yeah, in this 25th august yeah, patient discharged yes. then follow up nurse visit yes. arranged 
whether he drove at home or when he, he was riding the bike, it's not material for us, right? Yes. Let him go anyway. Okay. Now here, assessment. Do you require something? Yes. Throat swab. Throat swab. Throat swab. Throat swab. Throat swab. Okay. Viral influenza. In yes. Chest X-ray normal. Echocardiogram. Yes, echocardiogram. These Eco are the investigations. Yeah, these are the investigations and management also is required, right? How did yes. they manage? Now here, patient admitted Green Valley Hospital with the fever, all this. See, what were the complaints or the vital signs or the symptoms or the program problems the patient faced when he was admitted in the hospital? Anything else in this? The lab result, it's uh, all... Uh... Yeah, Where or is elevated. CR, CRP infection yeah, or elevated. Yes, uh, do, we, CRP. Do, do we have a repetition of the same? We can, no, we can, no. we can. We will keep it as uh, okay. We will keep it as in a different color as semi relevant. Okay, let's see. We'll decide whether it's relevant or semi relevant. Let's come back to this one. Medical history, medications. Medi medications. Yes. Before that, we'll come here. Yes. Medical history, medical history. Yeah, hypertension, 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 diabetes, 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 but then it is again well says well managed. Well managed. Well managed means you don't require further details of these things. Yes. It's already managed, well managed. So that becomes outdated information. Yes. Depression. 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 Do we require depression? We can. Yes. yes Semi relevant. Semi relevant. Yeah. We can keep. Yeah, I kept it. I kept it. Yeah, I kept it. Semi relevant. Yes. Medical history. Do we require? Mother, lifestyle? No, no, father. Exercise, diet? No, no. no. Medication? No. Medication? No. Yes, you need it. Yes. Medication needed. Yes, yes. Medication yes. needed. So that is it. Now, you know, this is the first step where, you know, you need patient details, right? Yes. Name is required. Age yes. and date, both are required because I always suggest if they have given both, if in the ray line, always write the date of birth. In the ray line, always write date. DOB, date, date of birth. birth. And if you want to mention in your age, if you want to mention at your in your introductory paragraph, see that you write age, not the date of birth. If only age is given, you can write age. Okay, when both are given, I suggest. And if the date of birth is given, never try to calculate the age. Okay, just write the date of birth. Don't calculate the age. Okay, and address is not required, right? Yes. Yes. Normally, the address is, uh, patient's address is not required at all. And social background? Mm -hmm. It's not, ne not necessary. Just not necessary. necessary no. Yeah, you can um, take it as semi-relevant. If you want to say, this may be important because she is a widow. Husband. She is widow. Yeah, yeah husband or husband. And lives her on her own. Maybe somewhere you'll have to mention, she is alone. Cool. That is we have kept as semi-relevant. Is that clear? Yes. yes, father. So you see, it's easy to find out. This is the easiest way to identify the relevant case notes. What is the key issue, and what are the connected, related, uh, the the case notes with the texture, smile, okay. smell, and fragrance, and color, taste of this particular issue. Means the medications and situations, vital signs, med all those things are relevant. So there is no issue. There is no confusion to identify what are the case notes relevant or relevant or semi-relevant. That is the first step that we have. We have identified the key issues. Actually, we have one step less here because key issue is given in the writing task. Clearly, it is mentioned here, outlining outlining the case note, a case and requesting urgent assessment and management for pericarditis. <laughs> Sometimes it may not be clearly given what is the main issue. So you go into this synonym, synonymous expressions, then you know, this is the issue looking at the, maybe looking at a prescription, you will say this patient has this problem, right? No one need to tell you as health professional, you know, looking at the prescription medications, you will say maybe metformin is with card, you know, the person is having diabetes. Mm -hmm. So that's how you 
practically visualize the patient and look into the case notes and identify what is required. As for health professionals, you don't require much uh, competency for this. But then people don't have a focus how to identify that. You just try to go from the beginning and find out everything, what is relevant, what is not relevant. If actually, you cannot do that. So you should have a focus. What are you looking for? That tells you what is relevant. So let me close this particular step. Now, same thing, just to show you, I have highlighted this way, whatever is required. The rest of the things I have striked out. Whatever I have highlighted with black background, that is the required things. Okay, same thing, what we have done practically and just showing you so that once again, it fixes in your mind. Okay. Yes. Cool. That is the first step. So let me go to the second step. 